Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, at the end of this video, I will point you in the direction of where you can access even more videos. The question type that we're going to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task choice. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. Go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and we will check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. Let's go over this one. It says that Willow plays a video game where she uses blocks to create an imaginary world. One of the blocks she uses is shown below, like right here. Complete the statement to make it true. Okay, so these are our little drop down menus right here for our editing task. When we drop them down, that menu drops down and we can see our answer choices. So it says this blank contains blank. Let's go through it. This right circular cone. Is the block that Willow is using, does it look like it's a cone? No, it doesn't, does it? A right circular cone would kind of be like this kind of a shape. All right, that would be a right circular cone. That's not what we want. A right rectangular prism. You might be thinking, I'm not really sure what a right rectangular prism is. Let's hold off on that one for a second, okay? A right pyramid. Well, when I think of right pyramid, I think of like the pyramids in Egypt that look kind of like this, little pyramids like that. And that's certainly not what we have here. So it's not going to be that one. And I tell you what, a right rectangular prism looks like this. It's just a, okay, but it also can look kind of like a cube too. So this cube example that Willow was using is also a right rectangular prism. So yes, that is the one that we want to choose for that one. Okay, this right rectangular prism contains a flat base. Well, I do see that it could be sitting on what looks like a flat base, so that could work. An apex. An apex is the tippity top point. It's like a peak of a mountain. So there isn't, I don't see an apex here, the top point. There are points here, but they're both, those would both be the same, at the same height. And that's not what an apex is. And a curved surface. I don't see any curved surfaces here. So this one contains a flat base. So that would be your answer here. Go ahead and pause the video, make any corrections that you need to make. And when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make time to intentionally practice and taking time to throw down your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself. And with that, I will see you next time, world changers. Bye.